So removing twist on a board when you're face joining a board can be tricky and uh, it's one of the things that can be a real challenge. Now here's the normal board, it's flat and I'm just going to run it over the joiner to face joint one and I'll go across here like this and I'll start off this way and then I'll use two paddles typically and everything is registering off the outfeed table like this. Okay, and that's how I'm creating a flat plane. Problem with the twisted board is that you have a high spot here, going like that, and then you have a high spot back here. So if I did the normal with two paddles and pushing down here, I'm pushing down on the infeed, and then I get to the outfeed, and I'm pushing down, I'm registering on the outfeed table, but then as I go across, my pressure, you see how that pressure just changed? And now I'm pushing down on the wrong side and I'll be getting this here thinner rather than this side thinner, okay, on the bottom there. So by changing my pressure, I'm getting myself into trouble. So the technique that I use, and a friend of mine showed me this years ago, and what I do is I keep, uh, and this only works on a board three, maybe four feet long. Uh, after that, it's just, it's just too, too, too much. Um, but I can do this and I have a one pad in the middle. And then I go and I do a heavier cut. Okay, heavier cut than normal. And now I'm gonna go across and I'll basically, I'll split the difference where it's like that. I'll start out about like this and I'll go across and typically I can usually create a flat plane and, and usually about two passes, okay? So here we go. I'm taking a little bit here and a little bit there. Same thing again. And I'm not changing my pressure. So now a lot of that twist is gone. I'm going to increase my depth of cut a little bit. So I don't care what it looks like, I want to know that is it flat. So by pushing down on this, pushing down on both sides, I have a flat plane. This one took three passes. Uh, it was pretty bad, usually I can get it in two.